On a table, there are two n cards, where n is a positive integer, and the total number of different symbols is equal to n. That is, each symbol appears at exactly two different cards, as in the illustration. Initially, all the cards are face down, and are then shuffled, so that no information is given on their arrangement. With this initial considerations, a game is played against an evil wizard, in the following way. First, a fixed positive integer k is given, where k is between 2 and n. Then, at the first turn, the player chooses k cards, which are then faced up. If any of these k cards, match in their symbols, then the player wins the game. Otherwise, the chosen cards are faced down, and then the evil wizard shuffles these cards, and put them back at the K locations, which were chosen previously. At the second turn, the player chooses another K cards, and again if any of these two cards have the same symbol, then the player wins the game. Otherwise, these cards are faced off. Then the evil wizard shuffles them, and return them to their original K locations. The game continues in this way, until the player chooses K cards, with some matching symbols, and then wins the game. This brings us to the main question, in this challenge. We have the following main problem. Find for which values of K. There exists a fixed integer m, which depends only on the parameters, n, and k. Such that, after m turns, the player is guaranteed to win the game, no matter what the wizard response is. Our method for solving the main problem, consists of two parts. First, we will show that if k is smaller than n, then the player can perform a strategy, that will guarantee his win, after 2n minus k plus 2 turns. In the second part, we will show that if k is equal to n, the no strategy exists that will guarantee a win, after a fixed number m of turns. Let us now prove the first part. Our method is to choose initially the first k cards, and then, successively choose, at each turn, another k cards, by moving our current sequence of cards by one. We repeat this process, until we reach the final k cards. If at any point, a choice of k cards, resulted in two cards which have the same symbol, then the player won the game. In this case, we have at most, 2n minus k, plus 1 turns. Hence, we assume from here and after, that at no point, a choice of k cards, resulted in two cards having the same symbol. Let us now use the first turn, where the first k cards are faced up. And let us memorize these cards. These cards are then faced down, and being shuffled by the evil wizard. Let us use now the second turn, where the next sequence of K cards are faced up. Then, we look again at the first K cards. We know that these cards are the ones which we memorized. We also note that the only card, which is missing from the first k cards, which are faced up, is the ace card. Hence, we conclude that the ace card is the first one in our sequence of cards, which is now faced down. Let us now memorize the cards, that were faced up, in the second turn. Again, after these cards are faced down, they are being shuffled by the evil wizard. Now we use the third turn, where the next sequence of K cards, are faced up. 
again, by looking at the cards that we memorized, and at the first four cards which are faced up. We conclude that in our sequence of cards, the second one is the Joker, which is now faced down. Continuing in this way, we can infer the symbols of the first two N-K cards. At this point, we used two N-K, plus one turns. Also, since K is smaller than N, we know the symbols, of at least N plus one cards. Since there are N different symbols, there must be two cards, with the same symbol, for which, we know their locations. Hence, after using another turn, where these two cards are chosen, the player is guaranteed to win the game. And the total amount of turns is 2n minus k, plus 2. This proves the first part, of our assertion. Let us now prove, the second part of our assertion. We need to show that if k is equal to n, then, in the worst case scenario, the player will never be able to guarantee his win, after a prescribed, fixed number m, of turns. We note, that at each turn, the player is choosing n cards. And if this choice is made blindly, then in the worst case scenario, all these cards have different symbols. If the player uses the tactics as in the previous case, that is, using the method of choosing sequences of cards, and then memorizing the symbols of the cards in each sequence, and each two sequences of cards which are being compared, are different only at two locations, then the player can know the exact symbols of the cards, in a prescribed set of 2n-k locations. But since in our case, k is equal to n, then the number of locations for which the symbol is known, is equal to n. And again, in the worst case scenario, all these symbols are different, so that the player cannot guarantee a win, in the next turn. Another tactics that the player can use is the following. After choosing a set S, of cards, where in the worst case scenario, all its symbols are different. Then in the next turn the player can choose some cards in the complement set, S star, of S. But in the worst case scenario, the chosen cards in S star, have symbols which are exactly as the symbols in the cards of the set S, which are now faced down. Hence, again the player chose N cards, with N different symbols. It can be easily seen, that all the viable tactics that can be used by the player, are covered. Hence, no tactics, can ensure a win in the game after a prescribed number m of turns. This proves the second part, and hence our proof is finally complete.